Today, I'm going to show you how to use the basic watercolor technique to do this watercolor painting. Composition study. I'm just going to mix the orange color. So let's get the yellow color and the red. That's become the orange. Okay, here you go. Got a little bit more yellow. A little color. Now, I want you to use the finger. Let's think about it. Okay, think before you do it. Okay, right here, like that. This is your decision. Think again before you confirm it. Okay, all right, this is fine. I'm gonna have this up, and I'm gonna have this just a little bit up like this is the person standing over here. You can replace the shape with the uh, reference that you have, maybe someone in your life that we already done the composition idea. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna first mix the gray color and use the large brush for the sky. Okay, the gray color is very simple. Just get the yellow color. I'm gonna put use this space. And the red to become the orange color, right? And get the blue color together. It depends on how much blue, how much yellow, how much red. And you can get the different kind of gray color. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit more water to it. Maybe a little bit more blue. Okay, you can mix any color you want. Okay, this is good. Try it. And I'm gonna start from this corner. So I let this guy, however it's gonna look like, that will be fine. Next, I'm gonna clean my brush. I'm gonna mix the orange brown color. Okay, I'm gonna take the yellow color mix into here. It just the yellow and red is not enough, okay? This is red, but how red do you want it to be? You don't have to uh, do exactly what the color would look like, okay? So, I'm gonna have a little tiny, tiny blue color, okay? And make it toward a little bit more uh, the brownish. I'm gonna start it right here, okay, this is good. And think about that, is the dark enough or too dark, okay? And also watercolor after you dry, it always look a little bit lighter, okay? Now I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow in it. Now I'm gonna put it right close enough to that. Okay, this is good, like that. And I'm gonna use the, the brush. I'm gonna have this open up a little bit. You see that the tip over here is very interesting shape. I'm just gonna put it like that, okay? Okay, this is good. Now take a look on this side. Actually, it looks very good. Okay, I'm gonna have it even darker. So I'm gonna have a little bit more blue, just the blue color. And open it up. Have the blue color, a little bit more blue. Just tap on it. Also, there's another technique, simple thing that we want to use, create a little bit more texture by using the water drop. Okay, just put the fingers into the water. I'm going to brush it to the front over here. So I'm going to use my hand to blocking this side. Okay. Wet the brush. Just make it a little bit soft. Okay. And let go most the water. Have a little bit lighter. That's maybe good enough. Now, I'm gonna do some lifting in the middle over here too. Now, just remove all the wet, okay? Now, coming over here, just step on it and make some little vertical, vertical, like this. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit color to it. Now, I'm gonna just add Look like this, the dark color is already good enough. Now, here you go. It's still wet, so this is good. I'm gonna draw some thin line. Okay. 
Okay, here you go. All right, that's just pretty good. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna give the texture to the tree over here. Okay, that's good. Now I want to open it up a little bit more. And I want to do the dry brush effect. I'm just going to let go some of the wet. Okay, this is good. All right. Now I'm going to looking for the larger shape like that. Just don't drag it too fast. Okay, just tap on it a little bit like that. That's good. Okay, tap on it and different angle. Slow down. I want to have the soft feeling. Okay, that's good. Use different side of the brush. Okay, that's good. That's good. Ignore those branches. Ignore the tree trunk. Just focusing on that shape. This is good. Okay, that's very well. See now, you just learn a new technique. Okay, that's good. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come into, uh, add a little water. Now come back over here. You don't have to clean the brush because the next color, still the same color. You just need to a little bit more wet. Okay, a little bit blue. You see all the color coming from the three primary colors. Just the yellow, red, and the plus and blue. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more blue. This is good. A little bit more blue. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm going to start drawing some line. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, and I'm going to draw one line at a time. I'm going to have this start over here, very thin. Okay, good. Coming down over here, get thicker and thicker. Look at it again. Okay, don't draw too fast, okay, otherwise it doesn't look like a natural tree. Like that. That's good, right? Very simple. On this side, I'm going to draw this line very thin. And if you're feeling like you can't control the brush, and you need to do more practice. It's a muscle. Practice. And coming down over here. That's good. That's another one. I'm going to add another one very right small. Coming over here. Like that. That's good. And I'm going to get a, a few more thin line. All right. And the tree is finished. Now the next thing we're going to do is the person. So now I'm going to start from a little bit lighter to a little bit darker. So now take a look over here. We planted the person right here. I'm going to have the head a little bit higher and the top of the uh, the grass. So, okay, draw the shape. Okay, slowly. Okay, that's good. Don't draw too big. You can draw smaller, thinner, and then add a little bit thicker. Okay, like that. Okay, wonderful. Look at it, analyze it. Okay, here you go, right there. And take a look on this side, this lake. Here you go. Like that. And then this painting is finished.